In this lesson, we will learn how to name binary ionic compounds. We are using International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry rule, which is IUPAC. Okay, so it's a systematic way of naming all chemical compound. Okay, so let's see for naming ionic compound, we should know the charge on each ion. As you know, ionic compound means it contains ions. As we discussed in the previous chapter, there are two types of ions, anion and cation. Metals form cation and, and non-metals form anion. So when these two ions combine, it form ionic compound, okay? So in order to name them, and uh, we should know how to find the oxidation number or the charge on each ion. Depends on the charge, uh, we have to know, how, we have to learn how to name these compounds. So let us see what are oxidation numbers for each element. For example, if we take sodium and chlorine, sodium form a positive ion called sodium ion and chlorine form a negative ion which is called chloride ion let me get my pointer here we go so this is chloride ion this is sodium ion we already discussed in the previous chapter okay so the oxidation number for sodium is one or i can say plus one for chloride ion is negative one so that means it is forming one to one ratio so it will cancel each other plus one and negative one will cancel each other and we will write the formula NaCl and we will name the compound sodium chloride. Okay. Similarly, calcium has a charge of plus two and uh, chlorine will have a charge of negative one. So to neutralize each calcium, say for example, let me show you here. For calcium, it formed two positive, and each calcium has, you can see, two positive charge here. So, neutralize that one, we need two chloride ions, okay? Two chloride ions. So, one negative ion here, one negative ion here, and this is two positive. So, two positive and negative two will cancel, and the total charge will be zero. That is our goal. In a compound the total charge should be zero so calcium has two positive and there are two chlorine so each chlorine negative one so it will cancel each other and it will form calcium chloride okay okay calcium chloride that is the way and the name is as i say it's named as calcium we will just write the name of the cation as such and only difference is instead of chlorine we are writing chloride ide this is important this is ending the name should end in ide okay okay so now let us See how to determine the charge on each ion. As I said, calcium is 2, sodium is 1 and all. It is super easy in the from the periodic table because for group 1, these are groups. We In the previous le lesson, we learned the groups and periods. Why am I not getting the pointer? Laser pointer I need. Okay, so here it is. So for group 1, it is plus 1. You can see Li plus 1, Na plus 1, K plus 1. So all group 1 will have plus 1 charge or oxidation number of plus 1. And group 2 will have plus 2 charge. And we are not talking about the transition metals now. Okay, these are called transition metal. We are not interested in that one right now because I am talking about the binary compound. These are the transition metals. We will talk about this special category later on. And now for the 13th group, it will be, oh my God, let me get my point. Here we go. So for 13th group, it will be plus 3. Only aluminum is shown here. And 14th group, it's a special category. So 
negative and positive force so this one we are not discussing in our ionic compound at all but from 15th onwards again we need for ionic compound the negative ions these are all negative 3 charge and these are all negative 2 negative 1 and 0 so as I said it is easy to remember 1 2 3 and we are not counting this one now and then it is going down negative 3 negative 2 negative 1 0 so that's the way you have to remember from the periodic table so the easy and common way of writing formula of an ionic compound is the crisscross method the one i was showing in the previous slide so in the crisscross method what we are doing is we are writing the oxidation number or the charge on each element and we will just cross it out in that way that means is it is cancelling the charges so as i said the charge should be zero in a neutral compound so if you are crisscrossing only the numbers we are not putting the sign at the subscript that please make a note on that so only the charges the sign will be only in the superscript when you crisscross it and if you are writing at the subscript no charge so it shows that it is neutral and the formula will be Al2O3 and how will you name it? You can name this compound because this is composed of, let me, okay, since this is composed of two ions which are aluminum ion with a charge of three positive and oxygen ion with a charge of negative two, we have three positive charge and one negative two charge so how can you neutralize that one for each aluminum i will put two aluminum here and i need negative six so i need three oxygen to neutralize that one so total when you add this one negative two plus negative two plus negative two equal negative six and in the positive charge plus three plus 3 equal plus 6 so it will be 6 minus 6 the total charge will be 0 okay that is how we are getting Al Al2 O3 okay so how will you name it Al we will name as such we will name it as aluminum no difference with the element name and the ion name here and what we will do here oxygen we will change it as oxide i-d-e-n-d -E so it is uh, you can read it as aluminum oxide okay so uh, while naming uh, ionic compound we have to categorize uh, the compounds into three so that we will learn the rules separate so the first one binary ionic compounds second one is binary ionic compounds formed by transition metals and third one is ternary ionic compound which is polyatomic ions so in this lesson i'm talking only about the binary ionic compounds okay i already talked about a little bit ionic the basic principles so now we just have to practice let's see now we will try these examples in the first compound the ions are from magnesium metal and oxygen non-metal magnesium is in the second group therefore we will have an ionic charge of plus two and oxygen is from the 16th group so we will have an ionic charge of negative two Therefore, the ions charges, since it is same and opposite in sign, it will cancel each other. So we can take this one off, take this one off. And even we don't have to crisscross here and we just have to write them together. So the formula is going to be MgO and the name, it will be magnesium. And the name of oxygen, we will end in IDE magnesium oxide okay so now the next example is lithium and sulfur for lithium we have to write since it is in the first group Li plus one 
and sulfur is in the 16th group, so negative 2. So when you crisscross it, now they are not going to cancel each other. So lithium and sulfur, we will just crisscross it and that means only the numbers will go down. And 1, we will normally, we don't write that, by default it is 1, so we will write Li, that 2 will go here, Li2S. So the name will be lithium sulfide and in IDE. So how is that? Let me explain that point. So for lithium it is plus 1 and sulfur there are negative 2 charges. So we have to cancel the negative 2 by putting another lithium ion. So plus 1 and plus 1 will cancel with the negative 2. That is why we have to have 2 lithium ion and uh, 1 sulfide ion. So by crisscross method, we don't have to expand by writing the ions like this. That is the benefit of writing crisscross method. And now the third one is sodium and phosphorus. Sodium is in the first group, so it is plus 1. And phosphorus is in the 15th group, so it is negative 3. So when you crisscross it, Na plus 1, be negative 3, the 3 will go here, 1 we will not normally write. So the formula will be Na3P and the name will be sodium phosphide. So if you want to expand it to make it clear, we can do that. Na plus 1, Na plus 1, Na plus 1 in order to neutralize the negative 3. So plus 1, plus 1 plus 1 will make plus 3 and then other one is negative 3 so that will equal 0 to make the compound neutral. So the next one is barium and fluorine. Ba is in the second group so from the periodic table we can see that it is plus 2 charge. Fluorine is from the 17th group so we can write it as negative 1. So Ba when you crisscross it the 2 will go here and BAF2. That is the formula and the name will be barium fluoride. So if you want to see that BA plus 2, we need 2 of fluorine so that negative 1 and negative 1 will make negative 2. So plus 2 minus 2 will equal 0 for the compound. That's how we are writing the binary ionic compound and that's how we are naming. So in naming only point you have to remember is I, D, E, N, D. So fluorine is fluoride. Fluorine will be fluoride. Oxygen will be oxide. Correct? So only that point you have to remember. Iodine will be iodide. Or then what else? Nitrogen will be nitride. Nitrogen will be nitride, I, D, E, N, D. That's how we are naming ionic compound, especially the binary compound. We will continue with the next one now.